girls try to bounce back with a unique creative routine. We're gonna do a basketball themed field show. Sounds like a whole bunch of disasters to me. And meanwhile, the moms work out some issues of their own. Cause Faith been doing ballet how long? The truth is, you already know why she here. Only cause Diana thought she was cute. And this is coming from somebody whose daughter ain't on the team. The DDP, sometimes we actually escalate the problem. So you admiring trophy? Yeah. Wishful yes, thinking? <laughs> No, I know we're going to bring home some trophies today. Mm -hmm. Texas always brings a lot of bull. Well, this bull has horns. You thought the Warriors and the Cavaliers was the battle of the century? <laughs> Child, you ain't seen nothing yet. It's go big or go home. Tonight for the Dancy Dogs. Your 2016 starting lineup. I got um, this creative idea for this week. Last season, I did a glow-in-the-dark routine. I haven't had a crazy idea as of lately, but this one, you kind of inspired me with this one. My husband is one of the assistant basketball coaches at Heinz Community College in Utica. He's going to be my secret weapon for this week as I work with the girls in creative. He just doesn't know it yet. We always compete in basketball gyms. So what I wanted to do is a basketball-inspired creative dance. What I'm gonna do is create my own NBA-themed creative dance. I think it's fun, I think it's interesting, I think it's different, but there's one catch. In the NBA, the players actually dribble the basketballs, so they can't just sit there on the sideline as a cute little prop. The challenge is that some of them have never picked up a basketball before. Right. So having to have them dance with the basketball, actually bounce the balls on B, and the ball not go rolling across the floor while we're practicing. So, so who's gonna teach them? I'm gonna invite you to practice to try some simple dribbling drills with them. Wow, Dana wants me to help with the routine? That's never happened before. So that we could actually use it as a prop. Of course I'm gonna help her, but I'm gonna use it to get something that I want. I help on one condition. If you come out on a date with me. Okay. Sound good. It's really sweet that he's helping me this week and he's right. I think we need to go out on a date. A little me time. A little I think you can do it, baby. I, I mean, everything that you have touched has been gold. I, hey, you, you I touched, touched me. you. I know I was bronze, now I'm gold. Bro, bro, that was good. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Everybody come see the front of Dancing Dog Wild. Last week's competition, I thought was really interesting, for lack of a better word. Last week was a free-for-all brawl, felt like. It started with the girls doing a six-man showdown and it ended damn near with the parents and the coaches from the other teams about to throw them hands. Because your parents represent you, there would be no trophy awarded for the final battle round. I think because the crowd got so riled up and a lot of it was you guys' as parents, but everything happened too fast. But at the end of the day, I thought y'all did great. Last week is a memory and we're moving into the present. 